All right, everyone, we're back with the Hoover Power Scrub XL Pet. This is Hoover's new version of their Power Scrub, a series of carpet cleaners. It has their True Max tank, which is supposed to hold more water for less emptying. It also has a new spin scrub brush design, which is supposed to clean better. So we're gonna open this up. There's nothing else in the box. It's pretty blah. Nice taping job here. Okay then. All right, we have what appears to be, oh, this rubber mat that you set it on so it doesn't leak. We have a solution tank. This is to hold your separate solution so you can turn the solution on and off without having to dump out good water. We have the included solution, which comes in this bag. This is the Hoover uh, Deep Clean and Neutralize solution. We have the handle, which is right here. We have this tool right here, which is a pretty standard Hoover tool. We have one of Hoover's newer attachments. Pet stain removal tool, which has these rubber bristles so they don't get clogged up with pet hair. And a removable nozzle, so if it gets clogged with any nastiness, you can clean it out. Let's collapse this knife. So we have some instructions and one more tool. It's the nozzle clean out tool. Very helpful to have one of these around in case your carpet cleaner becomes clogged with pet hair. Pre-vacuum and you won't have that problem usually. Aluminum wand. All right, we have a hose. Give me Looks like the pretty standard Hoover hose that they've been including with their machines for decades now. Looks like the clean water tank. This is just holds water because it has a separate solution tank. It's pretty large, I believe it's a gallon. Simple twist on off tab. And the machine itself it was covered in this plastic. We can get this off. Right, so this is the new water tank I'm interested in. So let's open it up. All right, so you can see where the water is coming in. Now it does not have the easy pour spout, which is a little bit annoying. It was like a little spot you just opened so you didn't have to open it every time. But this tank looks pretty large, so this should hold a lot of water. We have a filter right here, which you clean. It prevents pet hair and dirt from getting inside the water tank and clogging up your machine. So there's a carry handle right here, which is on the back, I believe. Also, this is just a friction fit tank. The old Hoovers, you would have to unclip this little latch, which was a bit annoying. So metal wand is next. I don't see a screw. It looks like, yeah, it's just a clip on. So, nope, is this, yeah. Let's see if this is the correct way. No, nope, we had it backwards. There we go. So here's your cleaning mode selector. You can select deep clean or quick clean. Quick clean uses less solution. That's for pet stains and that kind of thing. Another thing I'm interested in that I want to see is the new brush design. Yep, they changed it. The brushes are different. They come out as easily because the old ones would just pop straight out. Looks like these ones do not. Oh, I see. So they have the new push design. The old one you would just pull out. These ones you have to push. You can see the heat force drying right here where it blows hot motor air to dry your carpet. Brushes are easy enough to get out though. Not quite as simple. Even though the old one you'd have to yank pretty hard. So I guess it's a trade off. Have the cord. And it looks like the hose attachment is actually different. So unfortunately your old Hoover power scrub hoses will not fit. They used a round connector. This one uses a square connector. So that's a little annoying, but it comes with a hose, so that's not the end of the world. 
but if this one breaks, you'll have to buy a new one. Uh, then being able to use your old ones. But I do like this tank, how it's just pull up, but just make sure not to try and lift it by that or you'll drop it. The carry handle is here. Right here. And the water tank, along with the cap that is hermetically taped to this bottle. Goes right there. So on the old power scrubs, they would have the solution tank and water tank combined. I'm not sure what would be better, this or this. Doesn't really matter. The one thing I don't see is the ability to turn off the solution. It's either the solution is all going in there. There's no switch to turn it off. So the best way to stop the solution is just to pull the, oh, wow, that's very, oh God, I don't have trouble removing that. Just pull the solution tank out. So this overall looks like a pretty nice Hoover. We're gonna be testing it on this carpet. It's been about a month and a half or so. Maybe longer, maybe less, since I shampooed in here. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Hoover Power Scrub XL, and I'll see you next time.